Okay, in this video we're going to look at how we solve equations by trial and improvement. So there are equations where we can't easily work out the exact answer. And in this example we're going to solve the equation x squared minus 2x equals 70 to one decimal place. Now to do this you're going to need your calculator. So I've got mine alongside me just over here. And off we go. So we're going to start by looking at the, the equation. We've got an x squared in it and the answer's got to somewhere come close to, to 70. So I'm going to take a bit of a chance to start with. I'm going to take, take my value of x as being 8 and see how close I can get. So if x is 8, I've got to work out what x squared is and then take away two lots of whatever x is in this case. So it'll be 8 squared is 64, take away 16, and that will give me 48. Now that one I can do probably without my calculator. Now that gives me an answer which is too low. So the obvious thing now to do is consider a whole number which is a bit bigger. So let's take 9 as our next example. So 9 squared is 81. Take away two lots of 9 will give me a total of 63. That's still too low. Okay, so let's go a bit higher. This time we're going to take our, our number as being 10. So 10 squared is 100. Take away two lots of 10 will end up giving me 80. So that's too high. So what that tells me, and I'll just mark these with my, my red pen here, that my answer lies between 9 and 10. So my next move, I'm going to try a number in the middle and go for 9.5. This time I'm definitely going to need my calculator, so I do over here, and I'm going to see this, 9.5 squared minus 2 lots of 9.5 and that gives me 71.25 so in this case that is still too high but it's a very close answer okay so let's see what that does and <coughs> that means my answer no longer leaves, lies between 9 and 10 it now lies between 9 and 9.5 because that's the one answer which is too low and then the nearest one which is too high so next it would make sense to try 9.4 so again with my calculator I'm going to do 9.4 squared I'm going to take away two lots of 9.4 and that gives me 69.56 and that's too low so now my answer no longer leaves, lies between 9 and 9.5 I've now narrowed it down to be between these two, 9.5 and 9.4. Now, I want my answer to one decimal place, and the last step we need to take is to look at the number in the middle of 9.5 and 9.4, so that would be 9.45. So let's see what happens. So we take 9.45, square that, and take away two lots of 9.45, and that will give us 70.5. 4025. So that's too high. Now what that tells me is my answer, the exact value of x, must lie between 9.4 and 9.45. Now I'm looking for the answer to one decimal place, and I now know that the answer lies between 9.4 and 9.45, and all the numbers between 9.4 uh, 9.4, so you've got 9.41, 9.42, 9.43, and 9.44. If they're all rounded to one decimal place, they are all the same as saying 9.4. So in this case, my solution to one decimal place would be x equals 9.4.